Hello everyone and welcome in lockdown cooking. We are we have just finished our third week of lockdown and yes the supermarkets still provide lots of stuff so no reason to panic. Um, but just to stay in the spirit of trying to cook with a minimum amount of stuff that's left in the cupboard and today I have a right treat for you. Um, we're going to cook our own um, wraps or tortilla wraps if you'd like to uh, call them that way. Um, you're going to see it's super cheap, you can buy them for £1 to £2.50 for packets of it in a supermarket, it's really expensive and this is so cheap and easy to do and once you've tasted those you really don't want the, one from the, the ones from the supermarkets anymore because these are way better. So what do we need? We will need plain flour, 350 grams of plain flour. Um, for the purpose of this video, I've already half way this in four hand for us, so that's done. We will need one and a half teaspoon of baking uh, powder. We need a teaspoon of salt, um, a good teaspoon of vegetable oil, and we need 200 milliliters of warm water. Um, and this is how we're going to do it. Right, so I've tied my hair, I've washed my hands, let's make these wraps. Okay, so first thing I do, I'm going to put my teaspoon of salt, that's roughly a teaspoon to me. If it's a bit more or a bit less, it's not the end of the world. We, we then are going to take a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. And a half. There you go. And a bit of vegetable oil. Not a lot, just a bit. Just hung up. Brilliant. So that was 350 grams of plain flour and 200 ml of warm water. Put it in there. And with a fork, I'm going to bring it all together. Now, sometimes, depending on the temperature, you might want to add a little bit more um, flour or a little bit more water. See how it goes. And if you see, I'm mixing it together in my bowl and it starts to look like a nice little dough. Right. Bring it together. Just like that. Nice. Right. What you don't want it is it to become too sticky with your fingers. So what I tend to do sometimes a little bit of spare flour here in case I'll need it. If I don't use it now, I will use it later anyway when I will make my wraps. So, let's put this on the table, on the surface, and let's start working my dough. You are going to work this dough exactly in the same way that you're going to do the bread, like I've showed you in one of my previous videos. And I can feel it's a little bit sticky. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a little bit of that flour, rub it in my hands, just like that, turn it over a bit more, just like that, okay, and look what I'm doing, same technique as you've seen in the past, in the school videos, um, in the school lessons we've done um, naan bread pizza, and we've learned also in these lessons how to Work the dough, fold it, use your palms. A bit more flour if needed, not that much. Okay, I remember what I said last time people like to do like this kind of motions with your palm. That works too. Some other people like to roll it that way. 
and then fold it. That works too. Whatever you like to do, keep yourself busy. When you are baking bread, you do this for 10 minutes. Before wraps, you don't really have to do it that much. It's the same with pizza dough. You don't have to spend all that time um, kneading the dough. All right. And this is already good enough for me. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a damp um, towel, a little bit of water on there. Okay. I'm going to leave it on here for 10 minutes and I will come back. See you in 10 minutes. So we are 10 minutes later now. Let's have a look at this. Great. Okay. So now with this dough, we should be able to make um, eight wraps. How are we gonna do it? If you got one of those fancy cutters, um, bread cutters, you can use it. You can use one of these spatulas. That does the job too. So you're going to divide the first one in two, just like that. One ball. All right, we're going to divide this one in two. Here you go. And then we're going to divide this one in two. And this is how we're going to have small little balls that will make a wrap. Okay, so I've got four. I'll do the same again. So that's the half. Half a half is a quarter. Hop. Hop. Let's put that to over here. Got my little balls. And I'm ready for action. So first thing we do, flour our hands, get the ball and make it, try to make it kind of round like this. If you, want, if you really would like round, circly kind of rubs, you're going to have to use your hands to start. Okay, again, go and grab some of that flour from the other side and then we're going to use our rolling pill. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can use a bottle, that does the job too. So you gently go like this, you turn it 90 degrees, same on the other side, 90 degrees, and so on. You can go like that if you want to. If you see that it's a little bit sticky, that means that there's not enough flour. Some more flour. Okay, you're going to arrive at a point where you can really push hard. Okay, and you make it as flat as you can. There you go. Okay, I'm going to put my pan on the highest heat possible. It is really, really hot. Okay, and look at this. Okay, nice. I'm waiting. I can do it with this one too. So, I got a bowl, get some flour, rub it in my hands, okay, and use your palm. Make little circles, just like this. Grab a bit of flour here and there. Okay, when I'm happy, I'm gently going to roll it around. Like this, like this. 
turn it, grow a bit of flour. This will get a bit sticky. Get some more flour. starts to be hot. Off we go. No need to put any oil in there. We're going to create this kind of like char grill and it's literally 30 seconds, a minute depending on your, um, your hop but it's really not that much. You can start to see some bubbles. See these little bubbles coming. Okay, once they start to appear, take your spatula, turn it over. Maybe 30 seconds on the other side. As simple as this. Really easy recipe. You can flip them like you do with pancakes, it's up to you. Okay. You can do it like this too, it's fine. Or you can just use a spatula if you're not feeling that adventurous. Alright. You start to see this char grill here, that's what we want um, to have. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. prepared a cooling rack here with a towel so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my wraps on the towel just close it get the next one on the go look at this beautiful oh and while this one is going I'm doing my other ones flour try to get that circle Turn it around and always use your palm when you do this. If you can't put a lot of weight, remember you can use your shoulders over this. And off we go. Look at the bubbles, turn it around, beautiful. If you feel that the bubbles are going to be too big, just pop them. What I just did here. There you go.
There you go people, this is my 8 rubs. How long do you take? I don't know, maybe half an hour max to do this, but look at these. And once you're going to taste them, honestly, I'm just gonna just show you this here. Mm. It's really moist, it's really nice. Rubs are so versatile, there's so many things you can do with it. You can make enchiladas, fajitas, you can do falafels with them, or do cold chicken with mayo and sweet corn and lettuce. So many things you can do. And these are gorgeous. Right, give it a try, it's definitely worth doing and it is so cheap. I don't know how much, I haven't done the costing, but I presume it cost me probably 30p in total for these 8 wraps. Mm. I'm talking so much. Ah, super good. Alright, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, and yeah, let us know what you think about it. Thank you very much for watching. Alright, stay safe everyone. See you later.